grand rising, grand rising children, grand rising. So, I am coming up here because I really just had this pass the cross, um, um, cross the pass in my mind. And that thought is, when you continue to accept less than you deserve, um, do you stop attracting less than you deserve? Basically, when I'm, I had a, a situation this morning where I had to really stand up for myself and put my foot down. Because I'm one of the girls that say that I want love and life and all this stuff and all this happiness. I want somebody to be in my corner. I want somebody to respect me. But we need to remember that we should be respecting ourselves first. You know what I'm saying? And when you accept trash into your lives, when you accept to be second choice to other people, when you accept, um, you know, and this is particularly with relationships, but this can go all the way around full 360. Like, when you give somebody your attention, make sure that they deserve your attention. Don't just go accepting less than you deserve because that's all you're going to get ever in life. It took me a while walking up the walking up the mountain, but guess what? I found out today. So with that little bit of knowledge and self-reflection, I want to give that little bit of knowledge to you. Stop accepting less than you deserve. And stop allowing people to treat you any old kind of way that you don't deserve to be treated. Because, first of all, nobody's to blame but yourself. You are the blame. You can't keep going around pointing fingers at other people when it's your fault that you're accepting and, and attracting. <clears throat> because, first of all, you attract lots of different things. Whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling, but when you choose to accept those things, whether they be positive or or not you are in control so i want you all to remember never settle for less than you fucking deserve and make sure especially you ladies out there remember that you are queens and you are gods god is gods you rule the world period on period on period and these misogynistic men can negate that all they like but the world wouldn't have been here without two energies. Or at least one that could give birth. So with that, Grand Rising, good day to all of you. I hope you all got the message. Um, I'm probably going to go live a little bit later about this topic because that really bothered me. The simple fact that I gave you the time of day, even if it's on social media, gave you my phone number. And you still choose to disrespect me because I said no. Because I told you no. I didn't feel comfortable doing something. So now you're going to play the ignore game with me. And then when I hit you back on the app and tell you, oh, I sent a video. Now all of a sudden you want to motherfucking talk to me? Um, guess what, bitch? My tunes is on a thousand. And I already picked up, bitch, that you didn't want to be bothered by me. I already picked up by you were easily turned off. I already picked up by your brain capacity ain't even large enough to motherfucking accommodate a bitch like me so with that being said again good day